How you two? It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys with a Monday morning chit chat. Yes, it seems like the weekend just went too, too fast. I had a wonderful weekend. It was packed, but it, it wasn't packed like I had a lot to do. I didn't do that much. But I was in my brother's wedding on Saturday. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. Me and Princess Jude at the wedding. <laughs> but she, oh my God, my grandbaby, let me tell y'all, at the wedding. She was like, ah! <laughs> while the ceremony's going on, I'm like, I'm up there up front. I'm like, shh. It's my grandbaby. Oh my God. And my sister was grinning because she had her at the time because she was keeping so much noise. She was trying to quiet her down. And then when Princess Jewel saw me saying, shh, she just had this big grin on her face like, that's my grandma. I was like, oh my God. Stop cutting up. Oh God. Yeah, my grandbaby. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, it was it was a nice ceremony. We all had a good time. Um, yeah, we had some fun, so yeah. And then I got to keep her and TJ together Saturday night. I'm like, woo! And one would activate the other. I'm like, okay, girl, you know, because she was like kind of jealous that he was there. And she was like, uh, uh, when I was holding TJ, like in his face, like, uh, 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 like that's my grandma. What are you doing up here? And then she'd be trying to get him a little lap. I'm like, who thinks a one-year-old is jealous? But, oh, my God, she was. And then so I said, come on, it's enough lap for both of you. So I put her in my lap, and I look. She takes this little feet. She got these thick feet like her daddy. I'm not lying. They little bam-bam feet. <laughs> That's what I call them. They thick and wide. So she had that little feet, and she put it on little TJ's thigh, and I saw her just, like, pushing it. I was like, stop. That is not nice. And then she looked at me like, <laughs> I'm like, that is not nice. Stop. So she did. And um, anyway, after I got him sleep, then I got her settled and she got sleep. And they slept all night long. They done very good. Oh, my cuticles are peeling or something. What in the world? I just got a manicure, but that skin needs to come off. Maybe it's that gel coating. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all know me. Anyway, she, um, so anyway, we survived. And then Saturday morning, um, they both were setting each other off. One cry, the other cry. One cry, the other cry. But anyway, I survived with my grandbabies. And Princess Jewel finally went home. She went home at like, I think like 9.30. Her mom got off work. Kim got around about 9.30. So I was like, <sighs> no, she was before 9.30 because I actually got to watch R.A. Vernon. Yeah, so she, her mom came and got her about 9 and it was like... <sighs> God, she had pulled stuff everywhere. And then, it, oh my goodness, yeah. So it, I had a sigh of relief at the moment with her. And then I've made the mistake because I gave her some chocolate cake. I, I shouldn't have been eating chocolate cake. And then I look when I'm eating it, she's like in my plate. So I give her a bite. And it's good to her. Then she holds that little hand out like this for more. So I'm like, ooh, you're going to be wound up for somebody. But I got the majority of the winding up. And then I told her mom, I said, I just gave her some chocolate cake, honey. She's like, what? It's time to go to bed. I'm like, she's wound up. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was wound up. Oh, my God. She was wound up. So, yeah, I know her mom had fun with her last night. <laughs> Yes, and then I um went to, what did I do? Oh, nothing. I just watched R.A. Vernon, wonderful sermon. I know a lot of people probably think he's a little radical for the traditional um, Christian folks. He He's a bit much, but I like the way he break it down. And he break it down so that the young... I want to say person on the street. I was going to say young thug, but everybody on the street is not a thug. But the young person would truly understand. They can relate to him because he's like he's on their level. I, I just like it. And then even me, who's an older person, can understand and relate to what he's saying. And 
I just love it. So I got a wonderful message last night with him. Yeah, and um, as far as other things going on, um, yeah, I'm not really going to talk about them because I feel like it's time for forgiveness and moving on. And a lot of you know, um, I won't talk about forgiveness this morning. And it's all a part of the Instagram drama that's going on and I know people are probably like all the hurtful things that was said all the things that was done how can you say forgive but Jesus tells us that the the you know that his apostles came to him and asked him how many times should they forgive someone and what did he say seven times seven times seven do you know how many times that is do you know how many times that is <laughs> multiply and tell me how many times that is so even Jesus tells us to forgive, you know, so we got to have a forgiving spirit and we got to move on and try to repair because a lot of this last few months, a lot of like mean things have been going on and we have to learn. I'm asking you who follow me and listen to me and I know I don't have big subscribers, which doesn't matter to me. I didn't come on to get a lot of subscribers. I'm not a YouTube partner. I don't make money from Instagram, so I don't come on to get a lot of subscribers. But to the few faithful who do watch me, I'm just asking you guys to please don't feed into what's going on. Don't chime in on what's going on. Just pray about what's going on. And that's how you're going to move forward, you know. And even some of the things when I read, my heart was broken at some of the comments, but People are going to be people wherever you go at. So we just need to pray and just forgive. Because we all have said things that is not so right. Or we all have done things, you know. And just like in the Bible, he says, you without the first sin, cast the first stone. And none of them could cast them. None of them could cast them and kill this lady, which they felt like had, um, she was in, I want to say fornication, but she committed adultery. None of them could throw a stone because they know they was with sin. We have a fleshly body that's full of sin. So we have thought things that were not right. And we have said things that were not right. We have reacted in a way it was not right. Let our coupon not go through. I'm talking about couponers now. Let our coupon not go through. And what are we? We mad at that cashier. And do you think that represents Jesus? Do you think that represents God? Do you think that's how God wants us to be? No, it's not. So, you know, I had to regroup and get myself together and learn that forgiveness is the key, you know. I, I had to learn to do a lot of forgiveness through my life as well as I'm sure someone had to forgive me for some things I have done and said to them. So, you know, I'm just saying let's forgive. Let's not feed into it. Let's not comment. Let's not boost it up. Let's not poke into it. Let's just let it die down and let's all just get back together. Loving one another, loving couponing, sharing deals like we normally do, you know. Let's just get back to that point, you know, and just pray for those who had a broken heart and a broken spirit. Just pray that God will lift them up, you know, that they will be encouraged, you know, and that they won't respond in a negative way to things that was posted maybe months ago or, or you know, things like that, you know, or people saying things you know about them so we're going to pray that God pick their spirit up that God lift them up you know and I'm asking Jesus right now to touch their hearts so that they hold no anger and no animosity and one thing I learned about anger and animosity is that you're holding it against people and guess what they could ask God to forgive them and guess what they're forgiven and they're moving on with their life and you're holding that bitterness and that anger anger in at something that was said you know what I'm saying? So they're moving on. God's moving them. He's blessing them. You're sitting back and you're holding it in. I heard T.D. Jakes preach that one time before. So we got to learn to let things go. Don't hold on to things. Don't boost things up, you know? So that's what I am charging all my followers, all my subscribers to do today is love one another, forgive, don't feed into it, 
you know, just pray for those, all parties, even those who said things, as well as those that was on the hurt end. You know what I'm saying? Pray for both sides. You know, people need prayer now. Prayer is what's going to change things. And even if it seems like some of them still want to make negative comments, they don't want to, you know, still pray for them. You pray. You still pray. And that's what I do. I, I, I just learned to pray. And then, you know, that's all I'm going to say about these conversations. And this is the end of it. I'm just going to say pray. Okay? And I'm going to get off here for now. But as always... Oh, weight loss. Da -da 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 -da, drum roll. Didn't lose a doggone thing. I'm the same weight I was last Monday. But guess what? I didn't gain a pound either. So, I'm happy <laughs> that I didn't because I actually thought... I would be because, girl, I was eating cake at the wedding. I was eating fried chicken, potato salad. I was, mm, but I was eating small portions of it, so I didn't eat a whole big lump of it. But anyway, yeah, I was. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to get off here for now, but as always, do what? Give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking you up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right, and I will talk with you in the next video. Bye.